button. Welcome to SharePoint as a complete social intranet webinar. We do have folks tuning in from most corners of the globe this morning. More than 220 companies, organizations have registered, although we only expect between 100 and 120 to actually participate. We can always count on about a 40 to 50 percent drop-off between registration and go live. I'm broadcasting live from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Tanner, you are in Toronto this morning. How's the weather out there? Hi, good morning everyone. Uh, weather is very good today. Uh, I think it's a nice summery day. And it's gray and cloudy here, but we've had a lot of sun as of late, so that's okay. For those that are new to us in these webinars, this is a monthly webinar series on intranets, although it's the last one before the summer. We take a hiatus during July and August because simply too many people are on vacation. I recognize a lot of people that have been on here before and many clients. Thank you for tuning in again. Uh, but there's a lot of new folks as well, so we'll just take 60 seconds to explain who we are and a little bit about this. Uh, we are essentially intranet experts. And we've had the good fortune of working with many, many uh, organizations, more than 200 intranets, uh, many Fortune 500s and big brand leaders such as the ones you see here, some of which are on this webinar today. Uh, we are experts in intranets. That's our focus for 13 years, uh, more than 200 intranet projects. And we were the first to define and study social intranets, which of course is the focus today. Uh, more than that, we are experts in SharePoint. And today's focus is not technology neutral, but on SharePoint, specifically SharePoint 2013. Uh, Tamara's been working on SharePoint for many, many years. We are a Microsoft partner. Mark, uh, Tamara, you're part of the VTS program. It's called Virtual Technology or Technical Specialist, which means he's an insider to some of the Microsoft teams and some of the clients that we work with jointly together on. And and uh, our process and our skills and services run fairly deep, even to manage hosting and support. In fact, uh, we've come out with a new offer called Social SharePoint Intranet. And it's a complete intranet portal solution with search and all the portal bells and whistles in all of the social customized. And it starts as little as $2 per user per month. But we won't spend too much time talking about our services and offers because we are here to talk specifically about SharePoint. So we will jump right into it. I will say, however, because we will get lots of questions as the presentation goes on, will the slides be available after? As always, they will be available on our SlideShare channel at slideshare.net slash present. All right, let's jump into it. SharePoint 2013 and what it offers first. There are different ways to deploy SharePoint, of course, and many different types of sites that you can deploy under SharePoint. Uh, typically, for a main intranet, an enterprise intranet, it is deployed as a site collection or a global site. And underneath that and related to it can be all sorts of stuff, including personal sites in the form of my sites, regional sites, location sites, department sites, team sites, groups and communities. And the availability of features de depends on the type of site you deploy, uh, level of governance, integration, etc., etc. With a global site, a, a global enterprise site collection, you can do all of the below. Uh, but we'll review some of these different sites and the types of features that are available for each. Tamara, do you want to say anything about uh, the relationship of uh, uh, global sites and, and stuff like location sites and community sites? Sure. So uh, in, in any typical SharePoint deployment, uh, and really based on the nature of the organization, you would tailor uh, SharePoint based on your needs. So uh, many organizations will have a global destination where all employees will go uh, and uh, consume uh, content, news, announcements, and so on. And that's what we refer to as global site. Personal site, as Toby mentioned, is my site. And then you have the regional site and department site and so on. That's all based on the organization needs. Toby? Now, in a global site, you can get just about everything that you need out of SharePoint that comes out of the box 
from basic web and content management, enterprise content management, etc., uh, to do stuff like news and announcements and all of the social features that come with it. Now, we're just talking about the social features here of SharePoint because that is the focus of the webinar. Uh, from news, comments, likes, sharing, pictures, videos, podcasts, carousels, etc., through search, executive blogs, uh, wikis, polls, and surveys, personalized views and feeds, etc., etc. A global site uh, uh, is not unlike our enterprise intranet, where you have all the features and bells and whistles of a standard intranet, plus all of the social features, your global navigation, navigation across the top, you have got uh, lead features, you can do quick links, integration with back-end databases, as we do with um, different Excel spreadsheets, as well as with Salesforce, so we can track how we're doing on sales. All of the social stuff, like features and discussions and blog posts, polls, web parts that do weather, etc., etc., phone lists, calendars of events, you name it. This is our actual intranet homepage using SharePoint 2013. It is not just uh, a vaporware or a screenshot, but an actual working intranet. It is our intranet. And it's a mixture of traditional standalone intranet features from news and links to integration with tables and databases as well as the new social stuff here in the form of discussions, etc., etc. Up here across the top, you've got access to my site, the personal site, news feeds, SkyDrive, which is where you can host and store your documents in the cloud and share them with other employees and users. Personal sites, is that my site? Uh, everything there is centered around the individual user, the user profile, microblogging and posts and blogging in a normal blog form, checking in and checking out of uh, different locations and documents, personal schedules and calendars which you can sync with Exchange in your Outlook. All of this can sync and, and integrate with Microsoft Office. Personal feed or activity feed a la Twitter. I'll show an example of that in a second. Your private workspace for storing documents, but you can also share documents and other information within your workspaces. And social bookmarking and tagging as well. This is a look at uh, my site, in fact, my own personal my site on uh, SharePoint 2013. Here we see uh, all the information that I need or would want to access in terms of navigation about me, newsfeed, recent information, my blog, apps, tasks, uh, recent documents, etc., etc. Here we see a timeline of activity. Here we see over here uh, org chart. Here we've got personal links down here and profile information and even my personal calendar here. And all of this can be personalized and customized to a certain extent. I can also see as we see here through newsfeed, what other people that I'm connected to are doing, the people that I'm following, documents that I may be following. This screenshot was taken um, just as we set it up, so it doesn't show you all the people that I'm following today or all the documents and sites or tags that are, are there, but those that we took from our screenshot about a year ago when we first set up SharePoint 2013 as our enterprise industry. I can go in and, and, and edit and customize uh, the information that I get and receive but also push out uh, by tags, by notifications and people, by activities that I want to share as well. So there's lots of different options, out of the box that is, for following and consuming different information and people within the organization. I've also got my own blog where just unlike any other blog, I can blog about matters and issues that are important to me that are only visible to those employees that have access to the intranet or that I choose to have uh, permission to see or even contribute to my blog. And people can, in fact, comment on my blog, like it, and even share it as well. 
So it's a highly social blog tool. It's not as complex or as complicated or robust as, say, WordPress, but out of the box, it's pretty good. It's 90, 95% of what anyone would want in a blog or a personal site. Regional sites. So you can do sites by geographical region or by business function.